This lecture is part of a Udemy course entitled Design of Wastewater Treatment Plants for On-Site Projects. You will learn how to fully design a treatment plant for small to medium scale projects. You can find an 80% discount promo link in the description box. Now let's check what are the design dimensions and requirements of the sedimentation tanks. The inlet pipe, the transfer pipe and the outlet pipe must have a diameter of 4 inches. The inlet pipe must be placed 25 centimeters below the slab. The transfer pipe is placed 15 centimeters below the inlet pipe and the outlet pipe is placed 10 centimeters below the inlet pipe. Now the water depth, and this is the water depth, must be between 80 to 180 centimeters. The minimum length of the first compartment is 155 centimeters, and the minimum length of the second compartment is 80 centimeters. Now let's see the top view of both tanks. Obviously, we have to provide access to the tanks in order to inspect the baffles, the sludge and scum levels, etc. So we have to install manholes over both the inlet and the outlet baffles. The manhole dimensions must be at least 60 by 60 centimeters. The width of both chambers and this is the width, must be at least 95 centimeters. And as you can see, both tanks have the same width for construction easiness. We will talk now about the piping system and the sedimentation tanks. As we have already seen, the diameter of all the pipes is 4 inches. And as you have noticed, we are using baffles in all the inlets and outlets. So why baffles? In fact, a tea baffle helps reduce agitation. And this is very important to consider in any sedimentation process. If the water is agitated, we won't have a proper sedimentation. A tea baffle will also isolate the scum from the inlet pipe without the inlet tea baffle, the flow of incoming sewage would pour on the top of the scum layer. So imagine that we don't have this tea baffle extension. And let's say that this is the scum layer. Then the water will pour on the top of this scum layer and this layer will harden. This allowing new solids to settle and instead they will build up on the top of the tank and this would block the incoming flow and cause a serious problem. So basically the inlet tea baffle redirects the flow to enter the middle section of the tank. Also the baffle will allow ventilation for the escape of accumulated methane and hydrogen sulfite gases, so we will get rid of the dangerous uh, and smelly gases. Let's see what is the total volume of the sedimentation tanks if we are designing a wastewater treatment plant for a single residence or one house. First of all, a small reminder, the volume is the width times the length times the height. As you can notice from this table, the total volume of both the first and second sedimentation tanks is based on the number of bedrooms in the house. The minimum volume is 1000 gallons or 3.8 meter cubes and this is the same for up to three bedrooms and as the number of bedrooms increase the volume will also increase 
if we are designing a septic tank for a building, let's say, so we have more than one residence, we have to take some, some assumptions. We have to consider that the average water consumption per capita, so for each person, is 200 liters per day. So we are assuming that each person is consuming 200 liters per day. As a rule of thumb, you can consider one cubic meters per day for each apartment. So here we are considering a family of five persons. Now for designing the volume of the septic tank, we have to consider the hydraulic retention time HRT. What does hydraulic retention time mean? The HRT is the time required for the water to stay within the septic tank. So it's between two to three days, 48 to 72 hours. So the water has to stay within the system, which is two compartments. So the water has to stay within these two compartments for two to three days. Now we can calculate the volume of both tanks. V is equal to Q. Q is the flow. It is the daily flow times the HRT, which is the hydraulic retention time. The volume is in cubic meters. We will get a value in cubic meters. Q is cubic meters per day and HRT is in day. Or you can use Q cubic meters per hour and the HRT has to be an hour. So if it is in hours, we have to be consistent with the units. Let's take an example to understand how to design a septic tank for, let's say, five apartments. So assuming that for each apartment, we have a consumption of one cubic meters per day, or we have a generation of wastewater, which is equal to one cubic meters per day. So the flow Q will be five cubic meters per day. So we did here the basic rule of thumb. Assuming an HRT of two days, so the volume will be V equals to Q times HRT. Q is five. So five times two, which is 10 cubic meters. This is the total volume of the whole system. And we have already said that the first compartment has a double volume of that of the second compartment. So V1, this is V1, so the volume of the first compartment will be 7 cubic meters, and the volume of the second compartment is 3.5 cubic meters. So the total is 10.5, we are around 10. It must not be under 10. It could be slightly above the required volume. One very important matter in any wastewater treatment plant is the proper ventilation. For the septic tank, we have already seen the tea buffer. So the gases will enter through this tea buffer and will go to the top through the house plumbing vent. So the ventilation in the septic tank is straightforward, but you need to build this septic tank beside your house. It doesn't have uh, to be very far. If it is, you have to include a vent system with a carbon filter on the top to avoid bad smells.
If we have an improper ventilation, the gases that are formed within the septic tank will try to escape. So they will try to escape some, somehow, and we will face the uh, a very common problem, which is the other problem. If we want to check the plumbing system in our house, so this is the main waste and vent stack. So this is this pipe that we have already seen. And it is connected to the different appliances uh, in our house. And at the top, we have the vent pipe. So this pipe is the same for the waste or for the uh, collection of the wastewater. And it is also used as a ventilation pipe. 